buddy. I want Where the... We'll be there in no time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, me and Derek had quite a few problems. But he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor fucking bastard. He believed in something once, which is better than me. I guess. Man, fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. A bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Thanks for calling back. Say you're sorry. No, come so, on. Let go shopping go. with boyfriend. Can I get you a smoke a lot a latte?
Hope the internet Say sorry, is you it. bastard. Hey! I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. So, uh, can you... Fun way to go. Thanks a lot. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know. Somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. Oh, you really know how to work a clutch. So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him? They sure teach you to drive in Europe. Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next one. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. You oh. fucking retard! How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. Watch it! All right, test drive's over. Pull up! You're out of control! Stop the car now, shipper! That's it, fuck with. I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! Hold the fuck down, the little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. Can't you drive, fucker? Not when you grab the wheel! You ain't taking me nowhere! Yes, I am! Goodbye! Enjoy your shit life! This ain't goodbye, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you! Puta! Oh, that is fucked up! When my daddy hears about this! Daddy ain't here now! with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up! He's class. Well, Rasta, yo, you want to go down at the strip club, Mr. Bench, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I got a girl with me, and, uh... I don't think it would be appropriate. Let's speak soon, though, huh?
There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. Look at this beauty. Face like a bag of spatters. You're Yeah. I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you're here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. Spear. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg! What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. So, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now, the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. 
Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pedro. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. Huh. Oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. waiting for hit it let's go traffic. Always traffic. you guys all friends now nice you best hope you made a good first impression on Nico boys he's gonna be the one looking out for you darn as me well he's being paid to look out for me so saving you guys his asses would be overtime <laughs> that's just if the shit goes down right boss the Pavados wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on the commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderley for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Vanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over the meat. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason.
Watch that fucking hump and catch him on the wall. One more! Push around! Seconds to live, Let's go! We can get a fucking Polak! You wanna shoot me again? This ends here! What? It's only a small wound. Don't worry. There ain't no fucking way out of this now, you son of a bitch. Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for you, no you. I don't like the way he does business. It's got too complicated. Damn right they did. That ice was a real fuck-up. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Guy who owned the diamonds, Gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're gonna get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time old he got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos. Are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. The times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with her. I got a nice little offer. Give him the... Motherfuckers!
Sakyamada. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Let's just listen to some music. See you. 